All right, here's the last lesson of Unit 3, Lesson 6, nice and short. We just want to learn how to divide a polynomial. So all we need to warm up with is the same information that we learned in the first lesson, how to simplify a fraction that has variables in it. Okay, so we always start with numerical coefficient. And 25 divided by 5 is 5. Remember, 25 is larger, so it's on the top. And then we have x to the third minus 1, right? If there's no exponent here, it's a 1. And when you're dividing the same variable, you're subtracting their exponents. So this is a positive 2, which means there's just if there's 3 up here and 1 down here, there's 2 extra up here, okay? And if there are, the z's are 3 minus 1, that's z of 2. And then notice here there is a y. There isn't any y's up here. So that stays right where it is. So that's the best I can do when I'm simplifying that one. Okay. This one has a negative 1 up here and a positive 1 up here. That's just going to stay. And then there's three x's and one x's, so that means there's two x's extra on top. If there's two y's at the top and two y's on the bottom, when you subtract them, you get y to the 0, which is a 1, which means for our purposes, there is no more y. Okay? And same with the z's. You can just reduce them away. This was on top. So that means our final answer isn't a fraction anymore. It's just x, oops, need that negative, negative 1. You can just put it as negative x squared, okay? And then this one, I have a negative over a negative, but I have a 12. A 5 doesn't go into a 12, but a double negative reduces to a positive. So I'm just going to put that back. And then we have 3 on top. 4 underneath, that means there's an extra 1 underneath. Remember, if you're doing it this way, you have x to the third minus 4 equals x to the negative 1, which does mean that. Okay, so keep that x on the bottom. And then we have y to the second minus 1. That means we have an extra y on top. Okay. We have a negative over a positive, and it's the same thing, so I'm left with a negative 1 and some extra x's and some extra z's. So that means I'm not going to have anything um, on the bottom. And that's my final answer. Okay. Well, if you end up with nothing on the bottom, don't forget to keep things down there with a 1. Okay. So it stays where it's left over. All right. So let's look at these. We are dividing a polynomial with a mononomial. And it's done term by term. So the rule is to turn your one large fraction into a sum of many fractions, a sum of many fractions. So here we are with a polynomial, the fifth degree polynomial, and we're dividing it by a mononomial. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is break up this. This denominator goes underneath each term like this, okay, as a sum. That way you can change the signs as needed, okay? So just look at this one by itself first. We have a 9 on top and a negative 3 underneath. So that's going to reduce away to a 3. And the negative stays. Just put the negative out here. And then we have 5x. Oops, looks like I'm not going to have anything left on the bottom. So negative 3x3 is my first term. Oops. Oops, this is going to turn into a positive and a minus, so this is going to be a negative. And 2x squared. 
and this is going to turn into a positive 6x, and this is going to turn into a positive uh, 3 into 24. My mind's just going blank. That's an 8, right? <laughs> comes to mind. By 3, yep, that's an 8, and it'll be positive. Okay, double negative crosses out. So that one turned out to not have any fractions, and that's my final answer for that. Okay, this one separated it out. This one has an 8 and a 4, which is a 2, and an extra x on top. This one has 4 and 4 and 2 and 2. It reduces away to a 1. Remember that if you have the same on top, if you have 12 pieces of pizza and you still have all 12, you have a whole pizza. Okay, don't put a zero there. This one's going to end up as a fraction, and it's going to be negative because I have one negative, and it looks like I'm going to have two on the bottom and x left over on the bottom. So I'm going to put that this way. And then this one is all positive. This is going to reduce, take a two out of here. So we're going to have a 3 over 2x squared. And that is my answer. Okay. They look how they look. So it, it can look nice and, you know, there's such thing as a pretty, and there's no fractions, or it can have fractions. It can have a 1. Okay. You just got to go with whatever it turns out to be. So let's practice for a minute here. And we have x to the fourth plus x to the third plus 2x squared, 4x to the third, 4x to the third, 4x to the third. So we have an extra x on top, 4 stays underneath. So that's just x over 4. This one is just a 4. This one is a 2 and an x, so put a 1 there. So there's that one. 5x, 4 over 9x, plus a negative 45, 3 over 9x, plus a negative 4x over 2, 9x. This is the way I do them. I follow the rules. It's just a sum of fractions. So <clears throat> this doesn't reduce but it has more x's on top. Uh, this is going to be a negative 5 5 x squared minus 4 over 9 x. Now the ones in the homework have multivariables, so I'm sorry there isn't an example here. Like this could be, let's fix this one, 8B3X3P, okay, plus uh, 4, um, sorry, that's out of order, isn't it? X, 2, Y, 3, P, plus minus, I'm making one up, I'll do this one in just a second. Um, the ones in the homework have multiple variables. So let's make this a y. Okay, and let's say we're dividing that by a to the x, a to the x, a to the x, y. Okay, so this one's going to be yeah. Don't worry about the order. It's still y's and y's. So this is going to be two y's on top, two x's on top. Oh, let's go ahead and put a p in here. Sorry, I'm making up a problem. <laughs> okay, um, that's going to go away. That's going to go away. There's two extra on top. Two extra on top. So that's part of the answer. This has a 2 on the bottom. P's go away. X is, there's an extra X up here. 
there's two Y's. There you go. And this one's going to be a negative one. Okay. This one. X squared um, plus two with an X minus one. Okay.